Circumstance, but to acquit myself. Didst thou not kill this king? I grant you. Dost grant me, Hedgehog? Then God grant me too, thou may be damned for that wicked deed. He was gentle, mild, and virtuous. The better for the king of heaven that hath him. And thou unfit for any place but hell. Yes. One place else, if you will hear me name it. Some dungeon. Your bedchamber. But gentle Lady Anne, is not the causer of the timeless deaths of these Plantagenets, Henry and Edward, as blameful as the executioner? Thou wast the cause, and most accursed effect! Thy beauty was the cause of that effect. Thy beauty that hath haunt me in my sleep to undertake the death of all the world that I might live one hour in thy sweet bosom. If I thought that, I tell thee, homicide, these nails should rend that beauty from my cheeks. Oh, these eyes could not endure that beauty's wreck. As all the world is cheered by the sun, so I by that it is my day, my life. He that bereft thee, lady of thy husband, did it to help thee to a better husband. His better doth not breathe upon the earth. He lives who loves thee better than he could. And where is he? Here! Why dost thou spit at me? Were it mortal poison for thy sake? Never came poison from so sweet a place. Never hung poison on a fouler toad. Out of my sight thou dost infect my eyes. Those eyes of thine from mine have drawn salt tears. But when I heard the story of my father, my father's death, and all the passers-by had wet their cheeks like trees bedashed with rain. In that sad time, my manly eyes did scorn a humble tear. And what that sorrow could not thence exhale, thy beauty hath that made them blind with weeping. <laughs> Teach. Not thy lips such scorn, <coughs> for it was made for kissing, lady, not for such contempt. If thy revengeful heart cannot forgive, I humbly beg for death upon my knee. Nay, do not pause. <laughs> for I did kill King Henry, but twas thy heavenly face that provoked me. Nay, now, dispatch. 
Twas I that stabbed young Edward, but twas thy heavenly face that set me on. Take up the sword again. Or take up me. Arise, dissembler. Though I wish thy death, I will not be thy executioner. <laughs> then bid me kill myself, and I will do it. I have already. No, that was in thy rage. <laughs> Speak it again. And even with the word, that hand that for thy love did kill thy love shall for thy love kill a far truer love. To both their deaths thou shalt be accessory. I would I knew thy heart. Tis figured in my tongue. I fear me both are false. Then never was man true. Well, well put up thy sword. But shall I live in hope? All men I hope live so. Vouchsafe to wear this ring. My ring encompasseth thy finger, even so thy breast encloseth my poor heart. Where both of them? For both of them are thy. And if thy poor devoted servant May but beg one favour of thy gracious hand, thou dost confirm his happiness forever. What is it? That it may please you. Leave these sad designs to him that hath more cause to be a mourner. And presently repair to Crosby House, where after I have solemnly interred at Chertsey Monastery this, this noble king, and wet his grave with my repentant tears. I will with all expedient duty see you. I, I, I beseech you, grant me this boon. With all my heart, and much it joys me too, to see you become so penitent. Oh, bid me farewell. Tis more than you deserve, but since you teach me how to flatter you, imagine I have said farewell already. <laughs> Jersey, my lord. No, white friars. They're awake, my coming. Was ever woman in this humour wooed? Was ever woman in this humour won? I'll have her, but I will not keep her long. What? I, that killed her husband and his father, to take her in her heart's extremest hate, with curses in her mouth, tears in her eyes, and yet to win her, all the world to nothing? Ha! Upon my life, she finds, though I cannot, myself to be a marvellous proper man. I'll be at charges for a looking glass, and entertain some score or two of tailors, to study fashions to adorn my body. 
Shine out, fair sun, till I have bought a glass that I may see my shadow as I pass.